time for your favourite moments. So here we go. The first one is from Dave. Mine are the role play with Raw, of course. Andrea is a saint. It's true. It's always good. Uh, oh. It's always good, fun, and leads to parts of the game I would never encounter otherwise. Rikana being a legend, Jan took great pride in leading alongside an exemplar. Being general of the Second Legion. You're welcome. Uh, even if it's only for a short while, I've been at Empire for years now. So it's good to finally put my hand up for something and try to do it justice. Uh, the pit fight with Sammy was a star. I was shitting myself, but got talked through everything. From safety talks to the routine. You owe me a tooth, bull. Better get on that. And Raw owes me a beer. And Fowl owes me a horse. Count your stop outs. Oh dear. Martin. First is all the role play with Jazar. She had an ancestral moment and I came over to show her my strength of will to help her through it. Then later that day, being the fanciest orc couple at Senate Motions. Second was taking an RKO in the Rumble fight. I found it went smoothly and had a huge pop from the crowd. And then the last is taking the battlefield with the rest of the Imperial Orcs. During the fighting, I truly felt I was at home with the nation. Oh hi, it's Chloe Chaos. Oh hi, it's me, Chloe Chaos. Welcome to the Orcs Planet. Oh, welcome to the Orcs Planet, just Chloe Chaos. <laughs> oh. Oh, hi, it's Chloe Chaos. <laughs> oh. E3 was full of great moments. I got to see some and learn some stuff about water magic. Hashtag spooky sausage. A sausage, a sausage is spooky. We just heard Andrea laugh. <laughs> oh, the pit fights were amazing. Brom's best, some of the best fights to date. I loved my fight with Little Trash Panda. Who is that? And now I'm the most famous orc in Varushka. It was amazing being part of a huge night ritual. Last but not least... Shenanigans with best grud. It was possibly one of the best events I've had. Brilliant. Brilliant. Pixie Noir. I think my fave moment was the three parts to the same goal. All the work I did on Friday night involving the Orcs tribes in Ossium, all the RP I had with the Orcs as normal was amazing. Of course it was. From getting my... Blah, blah, blah. From getting my statement passed with the primacy with the Varushkin National Assembly to openly welcome Imperial Orc preachers to come to Ossium and preach the way, the life and opportunities of the legions to those Orc tribes that were subjugated by the Druge in Ossium, which sets up for the next part. Being the only proper motion that wasn't an announcement or an election on Saturday night session where I declared all the Orcs formerly subjugated by the Druge in Ossium as foreigners I mean, there's a, there's a full stop there. Giving them the legal right and us the opportunity to work around finding them the correct home. Oh, you want me to redo it? Well, I bet you do now. <laughs> yes, my speech was loud. It was passionate. But it was an awesome moment where you have a standing ovation for your first Senate motion. Which leads me on to the last part. My conversation in Varushka with Udu... Coming up with what's next for the Orcs of Ossium. Pretty dope. Nice one, Pixie Noir. This one is from Pat. Finally marrying, kind of, my fiancé, even if it was through Whispers Through the Black Gate. You're so sweet. Oh. I also want to say, Pat, if you are watching this, thank you very much for the cake. It was actually really, really nice, and, and we appreciate that. Uh, any more cake? I will take more cake. Man loves the cake. Cow. Losing myself to the ancestors in the pit. The entire Orc nation against one racist boy. Being told that we turn into green iron if we die in a mine. Who on earth said that? That's, wow, that's definitely, uh, 
That's one to add to the list of weird things that apparently happens to orcs. Mm. I'm not going to be able to say this. <laughs> Sir Manalos. It was my first event and Saturday songs were the point where I felt most immersed. Particularly right at the end, during Parting Glass and the song before it. I truly felt like the strangers I was with were my comrades in arms. The atmosphere was incredible. This one's from Kerry. Pit fighting. Pouring water on Medea roof because she wouldn't drink. Dating shenanigans and dancing with Han. I hadn't danced in 12 years. Who knew I still had it? You did. Ringforge Dan. My favourite moment had to be the battle on the Sunday. Waiting at the Sentinel Gate and watching Yargol getting pelted with dust and then seeing Grud trying to do the thing was hilarious. I was surprised when I got handed a repel staff and 20 mana from a very generous brass coaster for being a battle mage. I very much enjoyed the battle, using most of that mana to annoy some Grendel. Also, helping protect the healers when we got rear-charged by basically swinging my spoopy staff around menacingly. Most importantly, trying to get the younger orcs to pull back and not get cut off from the rest. As a side note, it was really nice seeing the rest of my banner getting stuck in with different things, considering we are fairly new. Sam! Drumming workshop! I would love some orcish participation at some point. This one is from our good friend Lark Vision. Mine was monstering and making the grid squad and just raining down arrows on all of the poor Imperials on the Sunday battle. Liam! My favourite moment would be in Dawn. Whilst waiting for the Earl Wolfborn, I decided to take his chair in his tent, which led to banter between us both before he challenged me to a duel in the Glory Square. What was that? <laughs> After having my pole arm shattered in the first hit, I then ran around the square trying to get a backup weapon when I was handed daggers. Before finally I got a sword, two cleaves later we're both on the floor laughing. Probably the most fun I've ever had at Empire. All over a chair. It's Abra Chris. Grud that does. Grud that could? Grud that is. Grud that... Grud that could, grud that should, all, all of the above. Talks about jealousy with Vec, claiming the brass coast Egregore's body. Seeing traumatic wounds as a result of the pit fights, the Ashbourne trip to Dawn, and a discussion with an Earl. Fowl opening the gate. Big ritual with both Egregore's present, lots of barbecue food. Lucas, the rumble, sitting in a tent talking about pit fighter things, reading smart while having lunch, accosting a racist who was telling people that orcs shouldn't be in the Empire, and also interrupted my packed lunch. Winning Drost money on Friday, winning... Oh, now we've done that one. Fighting the Academy children, they are savages, and scaring off 20 Grendel in the fight and winning... A pint of bull next summer. Is there anyone you don't owe something to? This one is from Danny. Fighting in the pit and getting rolled by three orcs. It took three of them, god damn it. Well, yeah, it did take three of them. You're still out, though. Making an orc glorious by gifting them some armour. It's true. Max, Max does look really good with that gold armour now. Uh, Sammy Tawny, uh, Tawny in Dawn was probably the best that I'd ever fought in. Battle refing and watching the Imperial Orcs line charge and wipe out the Grendel. Being the most glorious of changelings, in my base opinion. Setting up a reason to, prun uh, to punch Crunk in the face. I mean, do you really need a reason? Yeah, we all want to do it, really. Sorry, he's back, but it's true. From Jordan, getting my hair braided by Raw. Got that idea off the, off the bed. Sorry. 
This one's from Dave. I quite enjoyed seeing you briefly. Enjoyed seeing you too, Dave. It was good. I haven't seen you in a while, old friend. Dave Young. Oh, David boy. From Lou, my favourite moment from E3 was being deputised by the magistrate to investigate a suspected fear cultist in Wintermark. Our conclusion? He's probably not a fear cultist. 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 We think he's just a creepy old marker. Second favourite. Trying to get... Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but okay. Second favourite. Trying to cheer up your egregore after some of you banned him from opening the Sentinel Gate for being an absolute <laughs> shy orc. <sighs> I'm not sorry. I'm a bit sorry. <laughs> It's Premium General Irontide Tom. So years ago, Pell made a comment about how he was a little jealous seeing the Orc charge on a battle after Bruck died. Obviously I never understood that feeling, until last game. Hanging back behind the lines, banging the drum, I could see everything. One thing that filled my heart with joy was witnessing an Orc charge from the sidelines and close up. It was really awesome especially seeing Neil really get into the big swings. Oh, this one's got a knot in it. I think you'll find that we're a wholesome bunch here, friend. This one's from Paul. Opening the pit. I always love doing that. Very good. You are very good at it. The general fight. Miss it, missed fighting Brick, but the Frost Bear was good fun. Not Conclave. Conclave step. Putting a ritual into Imperial law in under 10 seconds, including the vote. I was there for that. That was pretty dope. Uh, monstering in the EMU was loads of fun. Big silly sword is big and silly. It is enormous. Monstering in... Oh, now I've done that one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The big national ritual was so much fun. Singing Morgor's songs that seemed to fit. Sunday's battle, just, well, all of it. We smashed them Grendel to pieces. Great seeing the nation punch well above its weight. Very good. Except that one time when I was like miles away. Charlotte. Watching my warlord running around the glory square in dawn, frantically shouting for a weapon 30 seconds into the fight. It was hilarious. The hallowing of the pit fighter's example, it genuinely gave me chills and I was honoured to have witnessed it. Meeting the Lion Knight and another lady on the Ashbourne trip to Dawn. We all said we were new to Anvil and it made for some great IC conversation. I also persuaded my warlord to part with his hard-earned coin to buy a wand for me from said lady. Finally, having another go at a ritual. I feel like I flunked it again but it went better than last time and was just me and Trosk performing it on Val, so there was no pressure. Trosk and Raw gave me lots of support again, which is always appreciated. This one is from Sol. So as for my favourite moments of this event were, number one, joining the militia and having to deal with a murder case on the first day of being deputised. Number two, arresting the anti-orc Ma 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 masked marcher and all the RP that followed due to him technically not breaking the law and having to be let go then him appearing basically everywhere I went even to the point where he dropped the mask and attempted to join the militia Just, phew, much quicker and uh, being abandoned by Raw In all seriousness, my number three will probably be a 50-50 split to when Raw got a little cranky at me for almost dying on a skirmish to Osium for the fun I had hanging out with Trav when we went to bust a drug deal and went on patrol with the Crimson Reef cartel. Pretty cool. Uh, this one's from Yolf. Jolf. Joe. I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this one's from Jolf. As you pointed out, Sammy, going beast mode in the Rumble. Me and Grud, that does, shouting out Grendel flankers and making them fall back by our voices alone. Smashing Grendel flankers with the young red hand. Drinking with a bunch of marchers until 3am and not feeling it that badly the next day. Now, why can't I feel like that? I have like two pints and I don't, you know, I'm hung over the day after. So you know why? Why? It's because you're old. Fair point. Why have I got Max? What is, what is this? Sammy, what are you doing? No one else wanted him. <sighs> All right. My first one would defo be being handed Lupo's pauldron after my first proper pit fight. Then soon after the chat with Bull and Russ about what the pauldron means and what it is to wear it. It was an amazing bit of roleplay. Another bit that I loved was talking to Grud that thinks and Pitchwalker Beck on the Friday about blood magic and virtues. The last one would be on the Sunday in Military Council, when I untied Yarn, the new Second Legion General, handed me a trinket of loyalty as appreciation for doing my job as a runner on the battlefield. So overall, had an amazing event, full of roleplay. Thank you very much for all of your comments and all that stuff. I'm really glad that so many of you had such a good time at the event. Oh yeah. Well, with that said, and with that done, it's time. See you in the next one! <laughs> Mate. Oh.